Hey, it's Jacobs, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So good to see you again. I hope y'all are doing well. So I wanted to get this video out pretty early this weekend because there's a couple of things that's going on, and IW is currently working on some fixes plus some other things that's going on, and and it's pretty. It's a pretty cool update that has just recently come out this weekend. So what IW has done when Infinity Warfare is the first off this weekend is a double XP weekend. So make sure you get on, grind out some levels. Um, you know, get that XP going, you know, get hopping some hardcore or, or whatever game mode you want to do and get going on the, on that, on that grind. So that's the first thing I wanted to mention. Second thing is, is that there has recently been a, an, an addition to IW, a new game mode called Epic Gun Game. And that's actually what you're watching here right now. And how it works is if you've ever played Gun Game, basically you go through a list of about 15 or 16 weapons, and you have to get kills with each one. And each time you get a kill, you rank up to the next gun. Usually in Gun Game, if you get knifed, it, it takes you back a level, or, or it might reset you one level. Uh, but in this one, I didn't quite see that. I, I got knifed a couple of times in the gameplay, and I didn't get reset. I just stayed where I was. And so it just acted as a as a, as a a regular kill. I didn't really like that. I, I, I prefer the the, the normal gun game gameplay where where if you if you get a knife kill if you stab someone if you get a melee kill or whatever then it sets it sets them back because so I think that's pretty cool but anyways so how this epic gun game works is that it's not your typical gun game where you're getting different gun or different guns but what you're actually getting is you're getting the epic variant so you have a chance now to try out different for for a little bit uh, you get a chance to try out the different epic variants of the guns that you have so the type 2 butcher was one that i've always that i've been trying to to rank up my salvage points so that i could eventually get the butcher i think the butcher is pretty cool so it's the butcher is the type 2 uh epic variant and what it is instead of you know pulling apart the gun and having two smgs or two really fast paced little ars that come off of it is what you get is you get two shotguns and i think that's pretty dope that's one that I've been trying to get and trying to grind out. I have about, oh, I don't know, say 1,500 more salvage points to go before I can unlock that. And hopefully I'll bring you some gameplay with the Butcher. But there's other other variants that you can get. There's the K-Bar variant. That's the Epic. You get the, of course, you get the Flatline. And, and I think the one game of that I played, I got the Chaos. You get some SMG Epic variants. It's really cool. It's a pretty awesome concept where, where they take the Epic variants and make it um, a gun game itself. So hopefully this is a, a staple. Maybe they'll they'll replace normal gun game with the epic variant gun game because I thought that was pretty cool. Moves, now the second thing I want to talk about is some issues that have been popping up in with the most recent patch. Last night we got into a game mode of of some core domination, and what we found when we were getting these these score streaks, especially the high score streaks, getting uh, the RC8 and some other things like that is that the kills aren't going through. You're getting a ton of hit markers for these variants and a lot of people have been going on. Um, what you'll see here is some posts from Reddit and I'll, I'll post those links down and, and uh, the, the one of the multiplayer designers, I believe his name is Joe Seacott, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but he mentioned that you know they're aware they're aware of the fix or they're aware of the, the patch issues and, and that the a fix should be coming out pretty soon. So I want to get this video out first. So so if you're going into some game modes, um, we'll just you know, give you a heads up on that, that, that that's going on, that you're, you're going to see, you know, your warden not get as many kills or or the RCA or the Apex not get as many kills. So so just a, as a heads up, if you if you haven't seen, I, I highly recommend you go check out the uh, Infinite Warfare Reddit forum. Um, to kind of keep yourself in the loop. That's where I get a lot of my news from them. So so you so you have that information for you. Now the other thing I want to mention is that in the most recent update, they changed the the hardcore ricochet um, that's been going on, and and I'll also post the Reddit thread to that one down below. So what they found is that there was some type of of exploit or some type of glitch where if you called in a care package in, in the hardcore game mode, if one of your teammates laid underneath the care package, then you would just repeatedly die, 
and that was an issue that was going on with it. I didn't experience it myself. I'm not a big hardcore game player, but that was something that's been going on uh, that other hardcore members have, have been saying it within the community. And that's been something that's going on that's been affecting it. So people have been quitting out. So what IW did is is they changed how the hardcore game mode works. So now instead of ricochet kills, what happens is you can do team kills. And and that was not a favorite thing of mine. I, I liked throwing grenades. I, I like doing the different challenges that I need to unlock for, for different calling cards. I, I like to grind those challenges out. And so, so I would go into hardcore, you know, and... And in Black Ops Three, you know, you get you get those three three kills. If you, if you kill your teammate like three more than three times, then you get kicked out of the game. And so in this one, what they did is they turn on the team kill, but instead of the the three and you're kicked, it's if you you do two team kills, and then um, on the third one, ricochet is then turned on, and and that's how it works. And so some people like it. Me personally, not a huge fan. I don't like the the team the the team kills because you're gonna see people camping in corners you're gonna see people spraying down uh, corridors you're gonna see people doing a bunch of stuff and that just sucks so please infinity ward please change that hardcore mode back please put it back on on the ricochet we need that back please thank you very much guys if you like what you saw today be sure to like like the video Subscribe to the channel for every weekend. I'm going to be posting videos for Fearless Under Fire. This has been Jacob. Later.